welcome back to another Mindset Monday video. It's been a couple weeks since I've done one of these, so I'm super excited um, to start this one. And here comes the click, 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 and let me eat because, you know, obviously people need to know that you exist. Come here. Oh, oh no! Okay, off. Oh. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Joe. I am a REBT mind tech coach. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a life coach and I'm a nutrition coach and I help men and women release their emotional attachment to food, figure out why they won't just do the exercise that they know how to do, why they won't just eat the way that they know how to do. And I help them get fit and flourish and live a balanced, healthy, harmonious life. Um, if you're interested in coaching, you can send me a message. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Joanna Joy with an I underscore. Um, you can email me. I just had to get him out of here. So um, in today's video, what I want to do is I want to talk about how your money mindset and your debt-free mindset are almost exactly the same as your fitness mindset. And I want to talk about the little things. Um, but first, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe on this video if it is helpful for you. And I want to say that there's still time to join my summer challenge. I've teamed up with First Form to um, help you guys, coach you guys through a summer challenge. It starts today, so you can go ahead and sign up actually anytime in the next eight weeks whenever you're watching this video. Um, it's going to be $13 a month. And the cool thing about that is you actually get to communicate directly with me. I get to see your nutrition. I get to coach you up on your workouts, um, your hydration. You can message me directly if you have questions. And it's a great way for me to support you without you paying a full price for my programs. I know some of you have mentioned that, you know, it's just not in your budget right now for my coaching. So this is a great way to receive coaching at a discounted rate. Again, it's $13 a month. You won't get the video calls and extensive coaching that you would get with, um, you know, one of my... Uh, larger programs, but you do get the support and the check-ins with me via my app. So you can go ahead and download uh, the app um, and I'll place the link in the description box below to download the app. Again, it's $13 a month. Once you're in there, just send me a message and say, Hey Joe, I'm in here. I'm ready to get coached up and I will totally help you with your nutrition and fitness goals um, because I want to see you succeed also. All right, so let's get into the video. So Many of you guys know that at one point in my life, I was in $18,000 of credit card debt, I had a car payment, um, and I had student loans. So probably totaling somewhere around 70,000, <laughs> no, it would be $60,000 in debt, including credit cards, um, uh, my student loans, and car. And you guys know, I don't know if you guys know recently, but I paid off my car. So now the only debt that I have is my student loans and I'm working actively to pay that off. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I wanna talk about the mindset that it took for me to pay off my car and how that actually translates to fitness. So um, if you don't know, I was once a teacher. I taught for 12 years. And one of the things that I did as a teacher is that I would um, put my lesson plans on a site called Teachers Pay Teachers, and you know I would generate some very small income for the month. And um, when I started to get very serious about paying off my debt, I took every single penny I made from Teachers Pay Teachers and put it towards my credit card. And I have to tell you this because this is the important piece. Some months it was literally eight bucks. Some months it was 30, some months it was 40, some months it was 120. It was so inconsistent. And at first I was like, oh, this doesn't matter. Like what's $8? I can like, you know, use that to go buy two Starbucks. Like, you know, I, I didn't, I thought it was insignificant. And that's the point of this video is that all of those little things, I mean, every month it was like, you know, I just directly put it on my Citibank credit card. I just moved all that cash because at that point, I was like, every little thing counts. And it's the same thing for your fitness journey. I, you guys, one of the re ways that I paid off my Citibank credit card, I think it was like three or $4,000, was by just putting, every time I got a little bit of extra cash, and I mean 20 bucks from a birthday, or, you know, 10, again, 10 bucks from Teachers Pay Teachers, or whatever, I put that on my credit card balance so that I could pay off that debt. And it felt silly to do that um, initially, but 
I started to see the compound effect of just the littlest changes, the little things, because eventually that is what actually paid off my credit card. It was the smallest bits of my teachers pay teachers income that really pushed me over the edge. I was paying that in addition to my minimum balance every month. So as you know, when you pay off a credit card, you have to pay more than the minimum balance um, to actually pay the credit card down. And so what, um, how this relates to fitness is that, you know, some of, some of us think like, well, if I didn't do a 25 minute workout or an hour workout, it doesn't mean anything. And I'm like, baby, but you're not even doing anything today. So if you do 15 minutes of a workout every single day, that's more than you doing a one hour workout once a week. 15 minutes for seven days is more than a 60 minute workout one time a week. And this idea that it has to be like a big chunk for it to matter, it doesn't work in fitness and it doesn't work in, in paying off your debt, right? You know, I didn't have the capital at the time to just throw a thousand dollars to my credit card. I didn't. So I had to just take every little ounce of extra money that I got if I subbed a class and put it on my on my credit card. And the same thing goes for fitness. This idea that I, I need to do an hour workout or it doesn't matter is foolishness and it's for the birds. And it's actually one of the reasons why people don't reach their fitness goals because they're so um, stuck on the idea that it has to be big to matter. Okay, and let me tell you, one of the reasons why is because we have this false idea that fitness needs to happen quickly. And I will tell you, it was the same for my credit card. Before I got super serious, it was like, I want this credit card paid off in three months. Honey, in what world do you, did I have the capital as a teacher to pay off a thousand dollars a month? I wasn't, I didn't have a thousand dollars of extra capital per month. The same thing goes for fitness. You're not going to lose 20 pounds in a month safely and healthfully. You're just not. So surrendering to the process of paying off my debt is the same as surrendering to the process of losing weight. I'm just gonna have to sit down and be along for the ride. And when you surrender that piece, it's much easier to say, okay, yeah, this 15 minute matters because you're not thinking of, well, well, you know, I need to lose 30 pounds in 60 days. You're thinking, well, this is for the rest of my life. So yeah, I should exercise daily, <laughs> right? So the point of this video is that the little things matter. The way that I paid off my credit card wasn't by me doing some full on sprint and just paying it all off at once. Number one, I didn't even have the capital to do that or the money to do that. And number two, it didn't teach me anything about, it wouldn't teach me anything about money to do that. It wouldn't teach me about patience. The way that I paid off my credit card, um, the way that I paid off my car is the same thing, you guys. I paid my minimum payment and then whatever little extra cash, $10, $15, $30 here, $70 there, I put that towards my car. I put that towards my credit card. I just surrendered to the process that this is gonna take a while. This debt's not going away in three months. It was gonna take three years. And um, you know, for all of it, the 18,000 too. And so the same thing goes for your health and fitness journey. Just, honey, just buckle up, get along for the ride and say, you know what, this is gonna take a while, so I might as well settle in I may as well enjoy the process. I'm gonna work out for 15 minutes a day um, for seven days, or I'm gonna work out for 20 minutes a day for five days, whatever it is that your, that your um, goal is. And you guys, even if it's five minutes a day, the point is that you build the habit. The point is, is that you're contributing to something every single day. This week for my um, clients, their challenge is to do 60 squats a day. It's not to work out for an hour a day, it's 60 squats. Why? Because I'm, I want them to build the habit of working out. Just get in the habit of doing something daily to move, to energize your body, to work your muscles. That is the point. Okay, it's the little things. It's the little things that matter. You guys, I know, you know, we live in a world where it's like, if you don't see big results, you're not doing it right. Um, that is a lie from the pit of hell. Okay, that can go right back there along with the other demons that they've told you about. No, no, it does matter. It does matter that you walk from the back end of the parking lot 
to the to the front of the store instead of parking to the close you know the closest closest parking spot it does matter it does it does matter that you take the stairs instead of you know the elevator that does matter i have a client um I had a client a while ago. Um, her only goal was to take the stairs. Why? Because she was tired when she took the stairs. She said, "I it, it makes it exhausts me." Okay, then how do you we're gonna take those stairs every day until you're not tired? Because that is still progress. That is progress. It's making the littlest effort every single day. And you guys know I'm not about laziness. I am about um, consistency. And one of the ways that we make consistency stick is that we start small and then we increase the intensity of our consistency. Okay. So if you are struggling with your fitness journey and you're thinking like, I just, you know, I want big changes right now. First of all, I would take a hard look at yourself and ask yourself if you really want health or do you just want a banging body? Because health is for the rest of your life. And if it's for the rest of your life, what is the rush? What's the rush? What's the rush? Why do we need to do it now? Start small because you're going to work out most days for the rest of your life, right? You're going to move for the rest of your life. So why does it have to be unsustainably for 90 minutes every day or unsustainably for 60 minutes every day? Why not start with something small and sustainable and work your way up? Because this is a 40, 50 year journey potentially, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in fixing your mindset, I have my mindset makeover that's linked in the description box below. It's on sale right now. So you can grab that for a really discounted price. It's look for the link that says mindset makeover and fitness planner. Um, if you're, if you struggle with, um, overeating and your food mindset around, um, you know, what is okay to eat and what's not and good or bad foods. I have a really awesome and powerful food mindset course for you. Again, it's on sale, I think right now for $12.99. Um, but either way, the most expensive it will be is 30 bucks. And is your life worth 30 bucks? Is your food mindset worth 30 bucks? I think it is. I think it is. This is the tool that changes my clients' lives. So go ahead and click um, on my food mindset course or my mindset makeover um, to change the way that you, you view food, fitness, health, and yourself. And you guys, the little things matter. The little things matter. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.